Hey guys, Martin Singen here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we just got an update on the Twitter for both Global and JP. Um, nice to see, you know, when it comes to some new stuff, as long as it's not easy A's apparently, uh, we can still get the uh, details posted on Global. So you can see here the uh, Quest Dokkan story update coming soon. Quest Dokkan story where you can experience the original story of Dokkan Battle enters chapter six. Here's a sneak peek of the upcoming character illustrations and story. So there you go. Look at that. That's uh, the artwork there. Pretty cool. Uh, we have Final Form Freezer and Final Form Cooler. I mean, obviously, you know, that's Freezer's quite Final Form and then Cooler. Technically, it's like Fourth Form Cooler, although I think in Dokkan they just call him Cooler now, don't they? In that last form that Freezer has. But Final Form Cooler is, of course, the extra form with the uh, very cool design. Like I've said over the years, probably one of my favorite uh, design villains. I think he looks super cool. Um, so you can see here, Quest Dokkan story, the battle reaches its climax. After having settled the score with Freezer, Bardock and the others face Cooler's fearsome transformation. So it's kind of interesting following along from the story. Like obviously we have the free-to-play Bardock got his awakening where he becomes a Super Saiyan. And then you have those stages where you're fighting against Freezer to get the unique skill orbs for him. And then, yeah, obviously after defeating Frieza, we then have to face Cooler. And then, of course, the update that comes at some point after this will then have the awakening for the Bardock to awaken into an LR, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later. Very much looking forward to uh, what we are going to see from that. But the big question when it comes to this unit is how exactly is this unit going to work? Because if we switch over to the wiki view here, this is the free to play freezer that we get from the quest mode currently. Well, you get him from the uh, green gem shop, right? So you can, I don't think you, you don't actually farm him from a stage, do you? You just buy all the copies from the barbershop um, available with the green gems. Yeah, there's like an unlimited supply, 100 green gems each. Um, and then just like the Bardock, I guess they'll add the Awakening medals into the shop for you to buy. Um, but yeah, he's a Wicked Bloodline category leader. He infinitely stacks attack, raises defense for one turn. Um, and then he's got what? Key one, attack and defense 100%. Additional 10% attack up to 50 at the start of the turn. Additional attack and defense 100% when performing a super. And then if there's a Wicked Bloodline ally in the same turn, he gets extra attack and defense. He has big bad bosses. So obviously that is pretty good. Universe most malevolent, shocking, uh, strongest clan in space, nightmare, thirst for conquest, and shocking speed. So the thing with this guy to remember is when people were saying straight away, like, oh, is he going to awaken into a freezer and cooler? Is that when it comes to categories, and this is something that we were speculating a bit about, like what the Bardock was going to awaken into, is units can gain categories when they awaken. So like Bardock became a Super Saiyan, so he gained the Super Saiyan category, but units don't lose categories which is why there was that old free-to-play str piccolo he's always the go-to example he came out as a farmable ssr wasn't on the namekians category and it's because he awakened into piccolo and krillin and so obviously they didn't they weren't going to make him lose the namekians category so he just didn't have it so these cards don't lose categories when they awaken and so the big thing to note for this guy is that he's on the sworn enemies category as well as i think gifted warriors whereas if we take a look at cooler Obviously, this is the LR version, but as you can see, he is not on Sworn Enemies or Gifted Warriors. We have the old physical, like, TUR one. Their categories and stuff are all the same, right? They're pretty consistent with the links and stuff for Cooler. The only difference being, obviously, this one doesn't have legendary power. So this one, I can't remember, what was the one they took off of this guy to give him? Uh, was it Strongest Clan in Space, Universe Most Malevolent, Thirst for Conquest... Shocking speed. Yeah, they took off shocking speed. Okay, so I would imagine the TUR one probably does have shocking speed. Because what I would imagine then for this guy is with the art the way it is as well, which obviously looks very cool. Um, this guy, having sworn enemies and gifted warriors, he's not going to lose these categories. So what the unit is most likely going to be is a freezer that exchanges into cooler. Because obviously, remember, with the exchange characters... They keep the, uh, well, they have the categories and everything that the original version of the character has, right? If we go into 
Uh, what's the easiest way to get that open here? I suppose we could probably just open Legendary Power. Because if we go to, of course, one of the more recent releases, although the wiki actually doesn't get updated very often anymore. But yeah, fortunately they are on here. So the Piccolo and Gohan that came out for the second part of the Namek Saga, obviously they have all the Gohan categories and then exchange into Piccolo. So whilst his links do change, um, they all categories are all the same. So this unit is not on Namekians because the unit starts off as Gohan and exchanges into Piccolo. So what seems most likely is this unit starts off as Frieza and then exchanges into Final Form Cooler. Now, this is going to be very interesting because obviously it depends. They could completely change their kits. But if we go back to this guy again, one of the big things about this LR is a lot of the stuff that he's doing um piccolo just kind of has the increased version of those things right and just boost it up a little bit remove some of the restrictions and stuff like that so if we take a look at this freezer um one of the things that obviously will be very good start of turn stats and everything going up a little bit um the attack at the start of each turn would obviously be very nice if it was attack and defense because then once the unit exchanges the unit should keep that stat build up as well um, and then obviously attack and defense on super is always good because it's a multiplicative buff. There's another Wicked Bloodline ally in the same turn. I mean, Wicked Bloodline is a category that hasn't had a huge amount of buffs uh, for a while. But obviously this guy um, getting a decent awakening will be nice for the team. Um, and then of course, once he exchanges into final form cooler, then the unit essentially could do anything, right? The unit doesn't have to be the similar blueprint to this. What would be interesting is depending on what the exchange condition is, is that you get this build up at the start of each turn. So I guess it would be turn five is when he's fully built up. Then have the exchange condition be turn five and then have Cooler awaken into, I mean, really what would be cool is just like a mini version of this guy where he's just a unit that hits really hard. I mean, obviously this guy's very old now, like even with his easy A, he's a bit outdated, but like, have him awaken into this guy. So he builds up in the base form as the freezer. Then when you exchange into cooler, he's just a unit that you've already built his stats up to a pretty decent amount. He'll obviously have his own start of turn stats anyway, and then give him like a big buff on super, maybe give him some like built in additional and like built in crit chance. And then, yeah, you just build him up as the freezer exchange into final form cooler. And then he just does a bunch of big attacks and there you go. So obviously the unit will stay physical, of course, uh, be a TUR. We do know from the hidden potential stats, unlike the Bardock, this unit is only going to awaken into a TUR and isn't going to become an LR afterwards. So this will be the final like form awakening. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What do you want to see from the awakening of this guy? I mean, the art looks awesome. Obviously, if this is the TUR art for the card as it is, and they do exchange into Cooler, then that means Cooler will have some new art for the exchanged version as well. Um, and with this being revealed on like today on Twitter, this will probably come out in the next couple of days, I think. So keep an eye out and I'll let you guys know once it's live in the game and we know what's going on. And of course we will do showcase for him and all of that good stuff as well. So that is gonna be it for the video guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.